Hey, this is Mike, and today's big story was that Fastly fell over 30%. It had an incredible run. I mean, just in the past 30 days, it ran from 84 up to 128, and then fell all the way down 30% today. It's It's been rising slowly, uh, mostly because Jim Cramer went on CNBC and said that the stock is a buy. Uh, one of the reasons why Fastly fell was just, you know, its involvement with TikTok. However, this is the premier company if you want to optimize websites and run video faster, like the New York Times, a lot of big websites use Fastly. Now, here's the thing I should point out is that right now the stock's at around 92, 93. It is above the 50-day moving average, and that's a positive, and that's going to give this stock positive momentum. Um, however, I would say just hold on. I mean, look, the stock just fell. Yes, it is rising, but there are just so many better opportunities out there. I would wait for this stock really to like break 100 before you would consider getting back in. It's really, you want you don't want to be the first person to jump in. Some people want to be the first person to jump in on a stock and get all the gains. It's better to wait for some more people to jump in. Um, I, I do think the stock will, will need some time to sort of work through the damage that it, I mean, when, it, when you have a 30% drop, it's probably going to take about another month or so just to maybe regain half of this loss. So I, I would say don't even look at this until the um, November, uh, the November, December Santa Claus rally. I think it'll, it'll recover and then it'll start running. So I would just put Fastly, you know, on your watch list, wait for it to break 100, wait for some good news. Maybe if an analyst note comes out saying that Fastly is a buy, then jump in. Um, even though it is going up, I, I would say don't play this game because it could dip again. You know, it, we have a stock that falls as fast. It's just this, it's very sensitive to bad news. And if, if there's another piece of fast bad news that comes out with Fastly, um, it can make it dip some more. But I would say right now it is above the 50-day moving average, so it does have some support right now. But personally, if it were my call, I, I would wait. I would wait a little bit, wait till maybe early November. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye.